Henry the Sailor Cat by Mary Calhoun Illustrated by Eric Ingram Henry watched them put everything on the boat but him. Cats don't like water, the man said. Henry won't pester us to come sailing. No, said the woman, he'll stay with me. Henry's tail lashed. Never mind water. What about going on the boat? What about the sea creatures they were always talking about? Dolphins and whales? He wanted to see them. As the boat motored off and the woman called, Don't forget to buy fuel! Henry slipped away. Past the smell of frying fish, he raced to the fuel dock. While the man and the kid talked to the harbor master, Henry sprang aboard the sailboat. He saw a hatch propped open. Down the hatch went his paws, his ears, his tail. Henry hid. Above, the man called orders. Sails were hoisted and seagulls squalled. Below, Henry crouched on an extra pile of sails that smelled salty and damp. The water lapped gently, as if it was stroking the boat. He felt the silent lift of the craft as it carried him along. Then the boat leaned with the wind and the waves, and Henry's stomach leaned with it. He growled at his stomach, Stop that! Switching his tail only made him feel sicker. Air. He needed fresh air. Henry padded through the cabin, up the steps to the cockpit, and... Henry, the man cried, how did you get on board? You'll fall in the ocean and drown. You stole away, the kid laughed. No, Henry sure-footed. He'll be a sailing Siamese. Henry breathed the good brisk air. He rocked on his feet in time to the smooth bounding movement over the sparkling water. Now he felt terrific. The kid began to sing, You're Henry the Sailor Cat. Henry joined in, Meow, meow, meow. Hmm, <laughs> said the man. Well, stay out of the way. Henry scrambled up the wooden mast. From the top he could see everything. A fishing boat passed, making for shore. Behind it flew a cloud of hungry seagulls. Channel markers clanged, and black cormorants sitting on rocks lifted their wings to dry them. What a glorious day! Henry sniffed the cool breeze that riffled his whiskers and ruffled his fur. Gripping the mast, he swayed above the sea spread out below him. Yow me yow! he cried in the joy of sailing. Then Henry lurched as the boat turned suddenly. He had to cling to keep from falling. What? Going back already? Good work! The man told the kid who held the tiller to steer the boat. Now let's practice that again. The kid cranked in a line to the forward sail. The sail turned and the boat looped around again. Good, said the man. Now I'll show you how to make the boat sail itself. Henry saw the man take a line tied to the rail. He lashed it around the end of the tiller with a slip knot. The kid let go of the tiller and the boat sped along by itself. All right. Yo! If you want to stop the boat, pull the slip knot, the man said. Like this, the kid pulled it loose. Henry nearly flew off the mast as the boat turned into the wind and stopped, sails flapping noisily. The man eased the tiller to the right and lashed it again as the boat sailed on. Henry hoped the sailing lesson was over. He was tired of being flung around on the mast. He backed and skidded down to the cabin roof. Hey, dolphins! Dolphins off the bow, shouted the kid. Henry saw sleek creatures swimming close to the boat. Leaping in the water, they rode the bow waves. On the cabin roof, Henry reared up to see better. He spread his back feet for balance. The dolphins sprang up too, arcing in dark light rainbows over the water. Henry pranced, singing, Meow, meow, meow! And the dolphins sang back in squeaks and whistles. Click me, wee! Now he had sea friends. I want to call to them, 
the kid exclaimed. Where's my whistle? He hurried to the stern and went below. Look, a whale is spouting, the man cried, leaning out over the rail. In the distance, Henry watched a great hump roll in the water. He hissed in surprise when a tail flipped up and the whale was gone. Looks like the weather's changing, the man muttered. Storm clouds rolling in fast. Better go back. He turned suddenly. Whoops! And the man slipped on the wet deck and his feet flipped up like the whale's tail. As he went over the side, the man was gone. No! He bobbed up in the waves, kept afloat by his life vest. Help! he called. The man tried to swim toward the boat, but it kept moving farther away from him. Henry raced to the cockpit. Yo! The kid couldn't hear him. What to do? Stop the boat. But how? Then Henry remembered. He clawed at the line on the tiller. It wouldn't come loose. The boat sailed on. Growl! He rumbled, yanking again at the slip knot and digging in his claws. The knot came untied, and the boat stopped. Sails rattled. At that, the kid rushed up the ladder. What happened? Where's Dad? Meow, Henry wailed, looking back to the man. The wind was stronger, and the waves were higher. Dad, the kid screamed. Oh, no, he seized the tiller. Carefully, he brought the boat around. Then he screamed again. I can't see him. Where was he? Henry stood on his hind legs, but he couldn't see the man. He sprang to the high side of the tilted boat. The deck slanted so much that he had to struggle not to slide as the boat bounced on the rolling waves. Way over there in the darkening water was the man. Meow! Henry pointed with his body. That way? The kid shouted. All right, Henry, you show me. Using the tiller, he corrected the course of the boat. Yow, yow! Henry shifted the direction of his body, but a strong wind slid him along the wet deck. He crouched and planted his paws. Is this okay? The kid called. Yow! said Henry, pointing his nose. Over the wind he heard a growl of thunder. The storm was coming. I see him! The, the waves are big, carrying him out! The kid exclaimed. The boat is tilting the wrong way. Got to be on his other side. As they passed the man, the kid shouted, I'll get you. He tacked again. Henry ducked with water spray this far. Sorry, the kid gasped. Now where? Yow! Henry pointed. The kid steered close to the man, turning the boat into the wind. The sails shook, and the boat's speed slowed to a drift. Coming, the man yelled. He swam toward the boat. Quickly, the kid put down the swim ladder. The man reached for it, but the boat rocked away. Mew. Henry stood as near the low rail as he dared. A few more swimming strokes and the man was close enough to grab the ladder. He struggled onto it and heaved himself over the rail into the boat. Whew, he grasped, flopping on the seat. Oh, Dad! Yow! The two of them huddled against the wet man. Henry could feel the man's body shake. He sucked in big breaths and hugged the kid. <coughs> Good job, he chattered. Thanks. Oh, Dad, you're safe. Henry purred. If it weren't for Henry, the kid shuddered. He stopped the boat, and then I couldn't see you, and he spotted for me. Henry, <coughs> you good crewmate. Thank you. I'm glad you stowed away. The sound of the man's voice made Henry purr with happiness. How'd you fall in? I'll tell you later, said the man, getting up to lower the mainsail. Now we've got a race for the harbor before the storm breaks. The man started the engine, and the motor whined. Henry swayed on his feet while the boat bucked the waves. Scrambling up to the bow, he saw a row of dolphins arch out of the water, leading the way. He knew they'd make it. Some smart sailing Siamese. <laughs> <laughs>